What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, that's Mike, and we are your hosts for Third Person. <laughs> that's right, that's right. What's going on there, young young feller? We are, oh, young feller, wow, I haven't been called that in a very long time. <laughs> uh, Mikey, we're doing we're doing episode three of season yes, one of yes. The Walking Dead. This is a rewatch react series. Mm-hmm. And if you haven't caught the first two episodes, one and two, check it out. Episode one, we did more of a commentary than a discussion. Se- episode two, we did a discussion. This is going to also be a discussion. So here's the deal. We're doing this because I haven't seen this season in a very long time. Mike's seen it about a billion times. So <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we watch them and then we just, you know, we just talk about it because it was fun to go back and just see where everybody was and compared to where they are the now. Classics, the classic Walking Dead. Absolutely. There's only six episodes, so why not, right? So we're on episode three. Right. This is called Tell to the Frogs. This is a very good episode, a really cool episode. And um, this episode opens up with Merle after being locked up on the, the, the roof. He, mm. It opens up with him. And um, man, that. Okay, go ahead, Mikey. You would tell me. Go through it, man. Tell, tell, say it oh, again. Well. <laughs> Well, I love I love Merle as a character, and just he's just such a great actor. So it's obviously it's it's Merle, um, and he's kind of hallucinating up on on uh, on the roof there, and he's and he's talking about how he, he punched some guy's teeth out, and how he, he punches teeth out. Yeah, punch it was just yeah, yeah, it was a great, it was a just a, a fun thing for him until he I guess he realizes his current position, and that's locked on top of a fucking building on. What? You know, in this in this heat. Yeah, well, he he's de- he's definitely <laughs> like starting to like flip out. Yeah, absolutely. And he, de- and, you know, and then he comes to the realization. He comes to the realization of his position, and uh, and he starts begging God and saying how he deserves it, and he knows. Well, that was he- when the walkers started coming through. Well, he saw the walkers, but before then, you kind of he he just realizes he looks up and he just I guess it just clicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we he's understand like, well, I'm a dick, and this is what dicks get, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, he's just he's fucked. You know, he understands his position is dire, and he, obviously, like you just said, the walkers are there, but they are chained. Yeah, uh, but you know, but you know what? Did chain them. That was a really great chain scene. The door, right? Because yeah. because you saw the door was starting to give way, and the 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 whole mechanism was starting to come off the handle and everything, and they're reaching through. It was it was just really tension filled, and like that was not only a great way to open the the show but like again like that's just like this is what the show is going to be and that's what that's mm-hmm. what you were like looking for that's what you were hoping for yeah so yeah, and, no. and it is it just his acting was was great too he just he just did such a great job there so it was just one of the it's one of my favorite openings probably in the whole show yeah the whole, yeah you know yeah I, mean? I have to agree i mean i completely forgot about that again i completely forgot about yeah. most of this stuff especially yeah. like when uh when when they get back to the camp and well, before we go to the camp, you know, you see, like you said, well, we, again, we talked off camera, but uh, he was teaching uh, Carl. Wait, was the frogs before or after to teach him? He was telling him how he's going to how he's going to catch the frogs and everything. Oh, like well, that, that was. And, well, yeah, they were kind of having before. Yeah. There was a there was a couple a couple things yeah there was a, there was the scene where they actually where Shane was actually talking about that with Carl before Rick while he's getting a haircut and everything yeah, yeah. and they're like and it's then like a little afterwards, they were kind of like hunting frogs if you you, you can say yeah. in, in the... we'll talk about that in a second yeah. but when yeah but like you know like you were saying how they you know it was like oh look we're gonna be this family unit and I'm gonna teach you how to do this and blah 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 mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden you hear Glenn coming up the road with the with the, with the alarm and then what was what's <laughs> Dale's friend's name the guy that was with Dale Jimmy Jimmy okay, okay. I don't remember yeah. his name Jimmy turns yeah. off the car and like what are you an idiot like what are you doing he's like oh I don't know I didn't know I got myself a nice car and again shows how Glenn was so like na- they were naive, naive and yeah. like young and like yeah. He was just a kid. He's like, you know? Yeah, and well, I wrote that. I wrote how Rick wouldn't have thought to maybe before you flag get... Flag him down and, like, turn it off somehow, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. figure out was, how to turn it off. Like, Yeah, absolutely. He was so quick to do everything else, and Rick was so quick to come up with the guts thing and all this kind of stuff. But that's the thing, right? That. He thought about, the, he thought yeah, about yeah, drawing them off, but you don't remember, yeah. you didn't think that going where... He didn't know where they were. I mean, yeah, they probably mm-hmm. told him, oh, we're in, the, like, the, by a quarry in the mountains somewhere, but yeah. anyway... So them rolling up was like, oh my god! I started getting the feels, man. And then they show up, and you know Morales goes out and he sees his kids and he hugs his kids and stuff. And then, and Rick's just like, oh. he's like, all right. You could tell he was just like, 
I got to brace myself for like meet new people and just mm-hmm. like see see reunions. In yeah. my head, I was like, oh, he's he's about to go see someone else's reunions, and mm-hmm. it was probably like that. And and then oh. you know at the same time, and then and then Shane, that Shane, Carl was getting upset because he saw like, and I remember yeah, like, thinking yeah. the first time I watched that like. Did he expect to see his dad? And then I realized, like, no, nah, it was, it was, you know, now watching it again, being like, no, it was just the fact that people he's were miss- coming back to each something. other. You yeah, had the sisters, missing. and then you had the yeah. family, right? So, mm-hmm. and then he comes out, and just that it was, pro- yeah, man, I had the feels, man, I had the feels, got a little teary. Yeah, I was like, damn, man, you know how dumb. I, you know how I, <laughs> you know how I am with reunions, and yeah. I love that 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 part of of shows especially like even with like game of thrones and stuff like that but yeah um when when i saw that it's it never gets old to me you know and like you said there was so much in uh, there was so much going on and and they they made sure that they showed you and gave gave the viewer the point that uh, you know shane laurie call they were becoming this this family unit you know right Right. And, and and then Shane says, um, just before Rick comes out and they see Rick for the first time, Shane's like, it's just you and me, Shane and Carl, you know? Yeah. And immediately that was the end. Yeah. And Shane realized that right away, and that was the beginning of the end of their relationship and their friendship, Rick and Shane. It's like, you know that uh, believe me, what let me ask you this. Do you think that Shane uh, I feel Shane definitely missed Rick and couldn't, couldn't believe it. Yeah, I and he I, legitimately thought he was he was gone, but it's like it was it it's. I think Shane took it like fuck. Like I had everything that I wanted. I had this woman. I had this other kid that I could mold, right, and now yeah. here is my best friend. But yeah, so would you you know would you just would you think? Well, when you're yeah, well I feel like when you're in that position where you're you've already resigned yourself to be a certain thing, to have a certain thing. To, to This is what it is now. Yeah. And then it just gets flipped back. Immediately. Immediately. You're like, yeah, like in a, in a, in a heartbeat. And it's like, yeah. what yeah. What are you going to do? There's, you can be angry, you could be upset, but you really mm-hmm. can't, you know, what are you going to do? There's nothing you can do. It is what it is. You now have to mm-hmm. go back and you have to. So that was very, it was so, it was very interesting. It was just so cool. Yeah. And like heartwarming and like just to see yeah. that. And then they have their moment in the tent, you know, they, they, you know, they have their little marital bliss. And, um, I like the line where she's like, he won't wake up. Like, he yeah. won't wake up. And I'm like, all right. Um, what does that about, mean? What does that mean? Well, does that mean you did that with Shane in the tent and he never woke up? Is that that, you know? Well, how about the fact that Shane was like on the fucking mm-hmm camper in that scene he's looking down at that tent yeah right and i'm i'm I'm, i was thinking too i'm like well did did shane they never really showed us but was shane sleeping in that same tent with Lori? i don't know because the whole carl thing would be weird and i don't know if they just put that on call yet by shane sleeping in the same tent with the rest of the family but it just seemed like where was he right yet you know he, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Be, because so, wouldn't he have had his own tent instead of sitting up on top of the? Well, the no. At that point, he was he was just on. I figured he was like just keeping on, like, watch, watch or stuff, something, yeah. right? Whatever. But it was just a, it was just a great just the shots and everything. Everything was it just seems so much different the way the show is is now, and it's it's, it's upsetting because these are my favorite episodes. So, so, right, and then and then classic Rick. You're getting an idea of what Rick's going to be the whole series. Mm-hmm. He immediately decides he's going to go back. Yeah. First, he says it's about Merle. Then I feel like out of nowhere, he was like, oh, wait, no, the guns. Like, then he was like, oh, yeah, the guns. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll make it about the guns and Merle. Then, um, and then and then we see Daryl. And it was like crazy to see Daryl like that because that's mm-hmm. not what Daryl looks like right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was the, you know, Boondock Saints version of Norman Reedus. And it's like they're almost <laughs> two different people now, you know? Yeah, a lot of the cast. I mean, that's what I, you know, when I when I wrote down some of my notes, obviously one of them was, of course, Daryl. This is the first time we see him. He has like that little baby face kind of thing. It just you forget that the show was like that. That was this must have been taped at least like two thousand nine, two thousand ten when the when the show started. So it's been yeah. quite a while. So these characters obviously aged, but 
um, a big part of of this episode is is Carol, and we always talk about this with how who who's evolved so much and, and right, which yeah, characters. Definitely. Carol definitely. She, all... she. Oh my god! I dude, totally how about forgot too, that? man. Yeah. yeah, just the fact that you can see how Ed, her husband, just treated her. Uh, broke her down mentally, broke her down physically. Oh, he was a piece of crap, man. He... And she was just even when you know when Ed throws the extra log on the fire, he doesn't get up when Shane says take the fucking log off. He tells Carol to go do it. Right. And... Well, it just yeah, it just goes. To sh- I mean, that was an extreme oh. version, and it's like yeah, that dude's yeah. such a dude. So when he gets his ass beat, like that was a satisfaction. So this was uh, this is a part of the episode where I was like yes, because I would do the yeah. same thing. I would do the same mm-hmm. thing, you mm-hmm. know. And it shows you that Shane. When the the thing with the with the fire, he you yeah. know he was pretty like he's level headed like he's not he's not unreasonable and he tries to be like not cause a big scene, and because yeah. he understands like you can't have this you know unrest in a group of mm-hmm. different people, you know yeah. and um but no, yeah and then and then you know what's interesting to me is I want to get back to Rick in a second but you know since we're talking about this particular part Lori just up. And goes over to Shane and tells him to fuck off. Like, I thought it was so crazy how out of nowhere she just... Like, that I thought was messed up. And that right there pissed me off. That was the first thing I didn't like about Lori. Like, I understand your husband's back. He knows your husband's back. He doesn't think he's going to sleep with you. At least I didn't think he thought that. Like, he understood, like, oh, my best friend's back. I just think that it was the fact that Lori thought Shane lied to him. Purpose. Well, right. Well, that was see, then. Right then, you get to the point where she's like, "You told me he was dead," and right now, it's this point she sees him in a, in a light that's very negative. Stay away from my son. So I just still thought it was crazy. I just thought it was. I was like, "Damn!" Like she not. She didn't even like. She just one eighty on him so fast. You know. Yeah. I guess I. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you say it like that, I guess I understand and I, I mm-hmm. can understand that. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, man, it was it was crazy, and you know, like you said, Carol just seen Carol again with the real short hair and just being all. And then going to see what she is now, like that was just amazing. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I just you know the thing with with uh, just Rick, just just like he just can't help himself though. He just can't help himself. It, mm-hmm. So a couple cool things were Rick and Shane, yeah. you know, attacking not attacking but you know um, subduing Daryl. And so Shane's got Daryl and the half Nelson or the full whatever he's got him yeah, like, oh, chokehold choke and he's telling he's like that's he's like that's not what does he say chokehold illegal it was a chokehold illegal yeah. um yeah. which was which was awesome because this past season remember yeah, yeah. right wait yeah, now what happened did, did, I forgot I forgot who's, who Rick does um, it to da- to Daryl or Daryl does it to Rick I think Rick does it to Daryl. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that too. I'm like, I know that they said that again, and I forgot. Guys, you got. I mean, I haven't looked it up, but guys, let us know in in this season eight current yeah. season when they have that little tiff over. I think bombing. Rick says it to Daryl. I think he does. I oh, he maybe does. that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and obviously that was the that was the joke. Yeah, I thought it was <laughs> just like, but that was way back from the first episode. Oh, the you know yeah, first season. First I mean, season. To say. It was also so, funny too when when uh, when Shane is is talking to Rick like you really think that it's worth going after a douche like Merle or whatever and Daryl's like hey. watch your language he's like watch your language he's like <laughs> he's like no no he's like, he's like watch what you say he's like no 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 I, he goes, I was being nice I meant douchebag yeah he's like no no I'm I know exactly what I'm saying he's a douchebag yeah yeah you know like it's it that whole I love that that was probably one of my besides the reunion stuff that was one of my favorite scenes because then once he subdues him and Rick gets down on his level and he's like looking at him. And he's like, are we going to have a problem? Are we going to like, that was like, that's classic Rick. And you go back and you're like, damn it. Like he was doing that. That stuff. I like seeing him do now. And he was doing that back then. Like that's, it was, just, it was just really cool to see. Plus it was also cool to see Daryl and Shane talking. Like, mm-hmm. I don't ever remember them even having scenes together. You know what I mean? Like, well, it's been a while, you know, it's, it's just cool to see the difference of, um, leadership and how Shane would run things, how Rick would run things. And yeah. So it I would mean, be, so it, different it's you know, just so. it's it was really cool so um i want to start wrapping this up here but um i want to go back up to the um to when they go back to the town to the town to the city yeah and you know uh they say listen we gotta you know merrill's on the like he's first like we gotta get him first because he's like he's closer so we're gonna go get him and then we're gonna go um oh and and oh just a real quick side sidetrack sorry just to go back for a second when uh. you know t-dog's like listen i'm gonna 
when they're all talking around the fire how they're going to tell Daryl, right? And then later on, you know, T Dog's like, "I'm going to do it. Like it's my fault. I'm not going to be a like a, a pussy about it. I'm going to I'm going to own up to it." And then later when it, when he's telling them, he's like, he's like, "I, I dropped the key." He's like, "Why didn't you pick it up?" <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he's like because it went down the drain he's like yeah. oh my god that whole thing was just like just t-dog was like i'm gonna be straight up i'm gonna go with you he goes up to glenn he's like come on man and he's glenn's yeah. all pissed off because they're stripping it and i forgot yeah. about the whole like and then you gotta look too like they're not they're not family they're not friends like he's he had a barter with him like okay you can have my bolt cutters if you give me the truck he's like you you know the hose is you can have the whole truck when i get back you know like Back then, like, there was no family that wasn't it. It's like, it, you know, you go back and you're like, they set it up really well. So having said all that, going back, they get up on the roof and that whole last shot of just the panning over and, like, he's flipping out. And you don't know. Yeah. You don't know. He's like, no, 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 no. And, like, I remember seeing that for the first time. Like, is he dead? Is he dead? Is he eaten? What happened? What's going on? What is it? Did he die? Yeah. Is he a zombie? What, what is it? And and then it, it reveals that it's his hand. Like again, it opened awesome and it ended awesome. Like that was probably I'm gonna say like the best episode so far. I mean we're watching, but I feel like it's gonna be the best episode of the of the these first six. Yeah. So I don't know, man. Really, really good stuff. Um, it was. It was. I, I mean, classic. Not much more I want. I want to say about it. I don't want to keep this too long. I want to keep it yeah. a little shorter. But yeah, um, no. I mean, I don't. The only other real thing that I, well, quick. The walker that was chomping on the deer. Oh yeah, okay. I thought it was sick. We didn't really see many walkers in this episode, but and, I just thought that was really cool. And let's talk about how it was Daryl that came in. He's like, he's like, what are you guys? What are you idiots? He's like, you got to get the brain. Like, yeah. He's the one that comes in, and they're sitting there like a bunch of idiots, just hitting at it and hitting. And I'm like, what? I'm like, you're all morons. Like, you didn't realize this yet? <laughs> Obviously, you know, like we it's gotta know. be the brain. But he was like, yeah, yeah. he's like, it's got to be the brain. So that was very cool how they all learned and how yeah. it took like six of them to put this thing down. You know what I mean? I mean, now they can all do like seven at a at a, at a time. At a time, you know I know, I, mean? so, I know. Good yeah. stuff. Listen, so I'm I'm excited about this finishing mm -hmm. the series, mm -hmm. uh, this season. I mean to say, um, I'm, I'm I'm really enjoying these videos. I hope you guys are enjoying these re rewatch react videos. These are really fun. Thank you for all the comments. Um, you know, keep them coming. Let us know what you thought of this episode. Again, this is probably yes. one of the one of the best ones ever. You know what I mean? And I had completely forgotten about this episode. So, uh, this is really good, man. Yeah, absolutely. Check us out, of course, uh, at uh, at YouTube, uh, Third Person Pod. Like Chris says, right in the comments section there. And of course, check us out on Facebook and on the Instagrams. And don't forget to check us out on iTunes. Yep, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next rewatch react. See you later.